What's up guys? I have a new pond. Just kidding, no. So today we are in Chicago at the pond guy's place here. This is the pond guy's place, Red Whitstock. And we're, we're here at the... Um, Aqualand. Aqualand, yeah. Here we go. But before we get started, go down there, subscribe to the notification bell and like this video. I want to give a shout out to Greg. To Greg. We'll check out his channel, huh? Yes, yes. He's got a couple, actually. So, all of this basically stemmed from when Houston and I built his little stock tank fish pond and uh, started putting together this little fish pond. Look at these koi coming up to Houston. And uh, Greg reached out to us. So, Greg Whitstock is the owner of Aqualand here. He is the pond guy and uh, the CEO, I guess, of Team Aquascape. And Greg has built fish ponds for people all over the country including people like Shaq and I think uh, Logan Paul and Blake Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch and uh, let's see Fishing with Flair huh we saw Blake we did so Greg invited Houston up for this big private event that he's having he's invited about 30 or 40 other creators and people in the fish pond world and stuff to come hang out here and then tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna hang out do some tourist stuff but there's a big event called the aqua shella show which is basically a uh, a convention for pond people and uh, Houston's excited to go to that one for sure but we're gonna have a big barbecue here tonight supposedly we're gonna get to swim in Greg's big swim pond huh Houston yeah there's like an underwater cave this thing is it's like this is incredible but I think Houston wants to take you guys in and show you around the basic goal here is Greg has offered to uh, possibly team up with us to do a fish pond for Houston at our farm, at our place, by our house. Not sure what we're going to do, not sure what it's going to look like, but we've been talking about trying to get together and collaborating on that. Catfish. Do what? This koi looks like a catfish. Look at it. Doesn't yep. it look like a catfish? Yeah. But it's a koi. It didn't show up on camera very well. So, hang on so Greg's not here just yet he had to go do some other stuff he was actually out of town he flew in today so he'll be here pretty quick and then everybody's starting to roll in we're actually spending the night here tonight and uh, I don't know we're gonna go in and check it out they've got all kinds of demonstration ponds set up Houston wants to show you that stuff he's got a big huge snapping turtle in there huge. that he releases in this pond to go swim around sometimes so I don't know maybe we'll end up in that pond tonight after dinner Yep, that's a pondless waterfall. That's not what you're after. Look. Here's the size of fish pond we're gonna get for Houston. No, no. Look, it's even it's even got fish in it, man. There's our minnows. Let's go look at some of the bigger ponds. Yeah. That's another pondless waterfall. So the way those work, Houston, you got a pump and it pumps it down and it sucks it back up and goes back up to the pump. Mm -hmm. So you can't put fish in those, but this is what Houston's got in mind yeah. little yeah. little alligator pond like that we might get something like this maybe a little bit bigger or something if we do get something it's probably going to be maybe a little bit bigger or smaller a little bit deeper probably yeah deeper this is just too. a demonstration so it's only a couple feet deep but it's got some big old koi in it yeah You excited about tonight? I'm not excited. Call oh, this one the, the tadpole eco ecosystem. It's a seven by nine pond, so just got some little small fish in it. There's baby turtles over here. Baby turtles? Yeah. They're red bellies. Little bitty guys, huh? Yeah. There's that tiny one right there. Yep. I told my dad that. I might be talking to Greg about taking one of these home. 
Hey, this is pretty cool. So here's some of the people that, that Greg's work with. There's Shaq. That's Greg right there. There's a. There's um, pictures all over the place. Brian Barsnick. Yeah. Is that how you say it? No, it's Brian Brackett. Brackett. Okay. Well, I was trying to read while I was talking, so mm -hmm. Brian Brackett. Okay. I don't know him. You watch him though, don't you? Mm -hmm. Hey, there's Martha Stewart. Logan Paul. So basically, this stemmed from when uh, when he was when Greg was a young kid. Man, he he started building his own little fish ponds and stuff, and he's built a giant business this is a huge warehouse it doesn't look big in here but the warehouse back there is massive it's and uh, anything you could ever need for fish ponds is pretty much what Greg does and uh, has built multiple YouTube channels around it and brought so many people in involved and he travels all over the country putting in water features and fish ponds and all this stuff goldfish. it's really neat man it's just so cool Yep. This is definitely not what we're after though. That's that's just more decorative than anything. Yeah. Here's a good here's a good example of what what Houston wants right here. Yeah, right here. A pond like this. Yeah. But a little deeper. deeper. Yeah. Oh, there's a turtle. Oh, there's, there's a big a one right turtles. there. Big too. Oh yeah. Look at them over there under the lights. Big ones. Okay, let's go see what's happening. He, oh wow, he's right here. Yeah, here's his. This is Greg's big pet alligator head snapping turtle. And there's a bass. It's pretty dark. You can't really see him in there. So maybe you'll get him out later and show him off. There's a bass right there. A little bass. Yep, there sure is. All I can see is my reflection pretty much though. Look here, Houston. There's like a timeline of everything that Greg's done business-wise. Look, 1982, he started with Samson the turtle. That's As me. a little kid. That's me. That's you? Yeah, and look what he's built based off of his love for turtle. that little turtle like that. This huge business. Yes. Hey, why don't you take them back there and show them the fish room? Yeah. This is pretty neat. Look at these giant koi back here. So you see baby turtles, and then you see a giant lizard. Yeah. He's not real friendly. He's just hiding out back there. Then, got some ginormous koi. This is pretty cool. Yeah. I touched him. These are some big koi, Dad. Oh, it's sucking off my finger. So the bus just got here from the, that brought all the other people from the hotel. There's only so many rooms like, we got a, we got a five star room here, like Greg must really like us. We got our own little penthouse suite <laughs> in the conference room, but I, hey, I'm not complaining. I like it. We, uh, we made the short list, Houston. So there's about 30 creators coming in from another hotel for a big cookout, huh? So you gotta hold him like this because he'll run off your thing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. He'll run off. You gotta hold him. Yeah, there you go. So these were hatched in, in Barrington about half an hour from here, and then we're raising them up for a year and then we release them in the forest preserve. Yes. So it's kind of a head start program so that they have a better chance of surviving. The colors on him. Yeah. So you should come back when we're catching up. We're, uh, next month we're gonna get about 61 nests we have this year to harvest and we're going to put them all in one big aquarium and let them swim around and have some fun with them. Mine's ribbon. You like it? Why don't you put them around your neck there, buddy? This is a big snake. <laughs> Very friendly. It's only when they squeeze. Only when they squeeze. So this is the only animal that people really don't like, some people at Aquascape, but it's the only snake I have here. 
What's his name? Our daughter named him Puppy. What's the matter, Mom? So you kind of like it, don't you? Like I, I think you should get a pet bubble. No, no. That would not last 10 minutes in our house. <laughs> Mom, you ready? Mom, you want the snake around your neck? Come on, it'd be great content. It's <laughs> kind of tightening up a little. <laughs> Just hanging out. Okay, you want it? Here, let's let, let's let her have it, too. Good. Hey, here, here's a good picture. Yeah. Let's hold the snake. Pendant necklaces. Here, Whoa, look at that big guy. Lizard. And you get it. No, no, you're not, no we're not throwing it. it in there. It will eat it. Are you no. sure? Yes. No, 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 put no, it in there? He's telling you to. No, don't. Do it, don't. Hold it with two hands. There you go. No, 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 don't. Don't. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, there he went. Dude, he's going to die. He can't breathe. Jaden, he doesn't need saved, baby. Hello there, he you're what wet. He's doing. <laughs> you're wet, okay, hi. You're wet. <laughs> Even though you're wet, come here. Just come here, okay? Okay, right, so take a big handful like this and just like drop it like at one time and they'll come right up. It'll be like a, a swirl of activity. Okay, now take off the shoes. Wow. Hey, you want a turtle? <laughs> Do what I say. <laughs> take off, take off your socks. Why am I getting in? You're gonna put your toes in there, and they're gonna nibble on your toes. I know. That's right. You come to Aqualand, you gotta do cool stuff. Go ahead, put your toes in there. Put your toes. I want to use my hands. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What are you talking about? They're gonna come eat your oh, feet, man. On. Your feet must smell bad because they didn't show up very well. So this is so this is all filtered by by the wetland filters over there. So the, people always ask how you keep a pond this clean and it's yeah. like like yours. Is in the shade. In the shade. Which is good, but when you got sun like this, you need wetland filtration, especially on a pond this big. So just all the plant roots just flow through the water out, and it looks like this clean. So this pond's ten and a half feet deep with an underwater cave. So you see this mass right here? You could swim through the underwater cave with this mass. Yes, it's twenty feet. So we had a great time last night. It's obviously the next morning. Sun's out bright, very bright. Should have brought sunglasses. <laughs> But uh, we got to hang out with a lot of other creators last night and get to know everybody. Greg put on a heck of a party. But today, this morning, we're going to be going to Aqua Shella Show. But for whatever reason, he decided Houston needs to swim in the swim pond this morning. He's actually got, there's a bunch of people here. He's hosting a, uh, a big party for a cross-country team. So the boys went and ran like 10 miles and finished here at the pond. But Houston got to feed the koi this morning here. Um, and now he's fixing to jump in the water. I'm going to give him the GoPro. Probably, probably gonna be too scared to jump in with all those high school boys here, aren't you? No. No? I know what it feels like. You know what it feels like? Yeah, you live with your brother forever, huh? Yeah, and my sister. I'm gonna get the GoPro and let you jump in and film the fish and stuff, okay? Okay. Dude, I can't fuck my legs. So this is the highlight of Aqualand, right? Mm -hmm. This is what you want to come see? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, get in. Well, Hang on. Pull it up. There you go. I guess Greg's going to make me get in. Make you get in. What a tough life you have, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. I mean, okay. Go swimming. I go guess. with the fish. Go Let's ahead. Oh, my God. 
All right, so this is Greg Whitstock, and Greg the is the guy. The pond guy. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. Greg is the guy that reached out to us after building Houston's uh, first little fish yes, pond. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I was excited that you were getting into the hobby. You finally gave your son the pond that he's been begging for for what two years? You <laughs> yeah, said two or three. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been <laughs> That's a while. A kid after my own heart. So Greg has multiple businesses going on. A couple different YouTube channels. But Aqualand here, where we're at, is kind of the hub of your business. This place is massive. It's huge. Like well, you're staying quarter here. Quarter million square feet. Yeah, quarter million saying? square feet. But this is where we manufacture and distribute water feature products for people just like yourself that are getting into the hobby. So right. this is our 30th year in business. I started off just a few years older than Houston at 12 years old, building a pond for my turtles, fish, and frogs when I was a kid, just like your son did, mm -hmm. and fell in love with the hobby. And then uh, in college, I started Aquascape to build backyard habitats for fish and plants in people's yards. And it just took off from there. And now we uh, manufacture and ship our patented products all over the world for people that want to build backyard habitats for fish and plants. That's awesome, that's crazy. So what about YouTube? What all do you do on YouTube? Uh, well, I have the lifestyle channel, so the Pond Guy is all about traveling around and visiting people's backyards and showcasing how they live the Aquascape lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The Team Aquascape channel is all about the construction, so how we build these uh, water features. Ed the Pond Professor, who will be with you <laughs> when we come and build you guys an yep. Aquascape Ecosystem Pond. Uh, he's the science channel, and then uh, Aquascape Ponds is just the corporate channel. So we've got four different YouTube channels. Gotcha. So I'll leave links to all that stuff in the description box. Go check it out. They do so many different things, and you built ponds. Like I was telling yesterday, um, they built ponds for people all over the country, and yep. so many different world, creators. The world. The world, yes. and Shaq, and uh, Logan Shaq. Paul, and yeah, Logan Paul is the I mean, crazy just, guy that got me into vlogging uh, four years ago when we built him a pond, and I thought, yeah. you know what? We should do a vlog channel too. And so I, I, I started a little bit like you, just kind of fell into it. Yep. And I just love sharing my passion for turtles, fish and frogs and backyard habitats. And uh, that's why I always love to say, it, I love my job. <laughs> that's awesome. So we will, uh, let's go check in on Houston, see what he's doing. <laughs> yes. Houston, where are you at? He's trying to climb up the backside of it. <laughs> You're struggling. Send me that. I can't get to that. I'm not getting in right now. Don't forget the camera. Oh! <laughs> 
is what a recreation pond is all about. You get to enjoy 365 days of the year, even when you're not swimming in it, which is only, what, three, four months a year in Chicago, you get to swim with it. And I love swimming with fish, just like people do in every river, stream, lake, pond out there. It's a natural ecosystem. There's no chemicals, no chlorine, no bromine, just natural the way we grew up. And it's fun because even in the winter time, it looks beautiful. So you get to enjoy 365, and that's what an aquascape recreation pond is all about. So I want to give out, give a huge shout out to Greg. Um, thanks for having us out here. This has really been an awesome time for me to meet you and all that. So I guess that's going to wrap up this video. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we all see you on next video. Peace. Hey, what does Greg say? I love my job. <laughs>